welcome welcome to this video this video is regarding actually doing file upload to an s3 a pre-set up s3 bucket um using python um if you haven't actually set up an s3 bucket there's a previous video i'll put it in the description um that shows you the step the very few steps to actually set up an s3 bucket so you can do file upload also setting up a, an im user so that uh, that user has proper permissions to upload to the that um bucket um, so first thing you have to do is you have to have a Python installed. Um, I'm going to be using Python 2.7. Um, we're going to be also using uh, um, something called Boto3 here um, uh, for our uh, for our upload. Um, I've also in also in the description there's a repo that um, provides you with code samples and uh, this step by step with screenshots um, that that I've actually put together. But so if you're using um, for, for me, I've actually already installed it. So if you open up your terminal um, and you go to, I'm gonna just jump into my desktop here. So um, if you type in pip, I think dash V, you should be able to get a response. If you don't get a proper response even like this, I don't think you have, I, I think that's how you do version pip. I don't really know, but um, maybe that there. So pip dash dash version will give you a size a response. Um, if you want to use Python 3, you can do pip3. These two things come in pre-installed when you install home, uh, Python via Homebrew, so that would be brew install um, pip. But uh, please look into another um, look into this. Make sure you have them both installed. So to actually install Boto, all you gotta do is type in pip install Boto3. It downloads it. All right, it's already satisfied, but um, it downloads it. And so there you have it installed. So now we can just actually work on the, on the actual Python code. So I'm just going to use um, an actual text editor. But if you, this is the repo, repo I was talking about. Um, there's two examples I provide. It's not much code here. Essentially, in this first line of code, you import um, the libraries. This is where you're going to um, put your access key and your secret key, the bucket name, and then the path to the actual image. So how we're going to do this is, um, and this is what the image is saved on inside our S3 bucket. So I'm just going to actually, I guess I'll just copy and paste it. Those are my, that's my access key and my secret key. Then I'm going to delete them the second I finish this video. Um, I'm going to save this on my desktop um, called example.py, which is the Python extension. If you don't know much about Python, uh, there should be another video regarding that. Uh, on my channel. Um, so now I'm going to actually copy and paste my access ID and my access key into here. Save that. And close this. Don't care about that. Um, then I'm going to go get um, the bucket name. I here it is right here. This is an example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I should um, probably would have deleted this by the time you're watching this video. Or whatever. And I'm going to paste the bucket name right in there. Okay, so test.png is now our image. So I'm going to use um, my GitHub slash add this channel's um, image. So I'm just going to open image a new tab I'm going to save this to my desktop and I call it test yeah it's a PNG already so the test so it's called save to my desktop as test PNG which actually inlines with perfectly with the script that I wrote here so now if I run this it should upload the vi this image that's sitting on my desktop right here test.png um, to my s3 bucket which is, if I refresh, is currently empty. Because I had the file in there and I deleted it. So if I go back over to my command line, I'm going to clear it. I'm sitting on the desktop, as you can see. If you need to navigate, you can use CD. I'm just run. I'm going to run Python 2.7, Python spaces, example.py, and I'm hit enter. And it tells me I'm done. It took a second, which is kind of a good sign. Refresh my page here, and as you guys can see, I have an image here. It tells me I have access to nine 
because I'm going to make it public. I guess it's going to, and there it is. So now it's on the server. So as well included in this repo um, is a, if you want to actually sort your images, um, all you got to do is add the folder name right on this key here. Um, but other than that, that's all you have to do. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or leave a comment saying you liked it. Um, yeah.